Hello everyone and welcome back to my vlogging series where I chat about a variety of music related subjects. A common thread in these videos is a musician's mental health, something extremely important but one we can often neglect. Today I want to discuss the problems with defining ourselves purely based on the instrument we play. At some point during my teenage years, I became one of the more competent guitar players in my social network. I had never been the best at what I did and this felt amazing. The guitar became directly linked with my identity and consumed much of what I did. Had you asked me who I was back then, I might have said something like, I am Steve, I'm a guitar player, I like the blues, I play a Telecaster, and Stevie Ray Vaughan is my favorite musician. But now I would see myself different. I'm still Steve, I still play guitar, but there's also a lot more to me that I've learned to like. Finding that balance has been incredibly important to my happiness, and I believe it's reflected in the quality of my music too. I mention the concept of balance so often because it's such a valuable thing. The importance of finding things in your life that bring you joy beside music can't be understated. If all we have is music, it puts an unnecessary strain on the relationship with our art, especially when music isn't going well and no matter who you are, there will be times when that happens. Be it struggling to master a piece that you're practicing, the inability to find motivation, hitting a creative rut, or your album not being received as well as you'd hope, whatever. If your entire mental state relies on that stuff going well, you're headed for trouble. In many ways, it's like a romantic relationship. Imagine you're dating someone and your entire life revolves around them. It may work for a little bit, but it's unsustainable and you'll eventually hit a wall. And I don't know about you, but I have a tendency to get into these thought spirals when I'm struggling with something. I can have a fairly minute problem and in my head I can envision it getting worse and worse and worse. This manifests in a number of different ways. For example, when I have a video that doesn't do so well, I can go down a rabbit hole where I convince myself that my channel is dying off. Even if it's irrational, those thoughts are there and there's no denying them. One of the best ways I've found to deal with them is through sports and exercise. That hour where I'm playing hockey or soccer, I'm thinking about nothing else besides the game. And after, when I come back to my musical problems, I can see them with a clearer and less emotional lens. Finding things like this and devoting part of my passion towards them are a big reason why I'm still making a go at guitar some 17 years after I started playing. Without them, I would have burnt myself out a long time ago and definitely wouldn't have a career in the arts. What these side passions are for you will be different than what they are for me, but I strongly encourage you to find fulfillment in other things beside guitar. By defining ourselves purely as guitarists, it also gives us an excuse to neglect other parts of our personality. Like everyone else, I can admit that at points in my life, I was a bit of a jerk. The problem was that I didn't make an effort to change that, and I justified that by telling myself, I'm a good guitarist and really that's all that matters. That is a terrible attitude, but that's what I did. And just because society tends to give people who are really good at something a bit of a pass when it comes to their personality, doesn't mean that that's right. Since my self-worth was mostly tied into my music, I didn't really care how I came across aside from that. Same was true with my physical health. I didn't love the way I look, but who cares I thought I'm a good guitarist. All that is is a convenient excuse to be out of shape. The only person I was hurting was me. Looking back, I can say that music was a way to compensate for a self-confidence issue. The positive was that this motivated a lot of my practice, but that's not sustainable for the long term. When I came across a new musician who was better than I was, it would really mess me up, to the point where everything I played to me sounded like garbage. I was always comparing myself in negative ways and was haunted by jealousy. This is a horrible mental state to be in and I can recognize that now. There is one root reason to make music, and that's because it brings you happiness. If that's not happening, then you gotta change something. Playing guitar to make yourself feel superior to others is not a good reason to make music. What makes this tough is that it can be tricky to see this in the moment, especially since so much of it happens subconsciously. Self-reflection and finding the root of our actions can be tough, but you're only gonna find those answers if you look for them. The reality is, though, you do need to find time to invest in music, and if you're gonna make a serious go at it, there will be sacrifices you have to make. The answers you find are gonna be different than the ones I've found for myself, and they probably won't come right away. The point of making these videos is that I hope you can at least be aware of these issues and know that a lot of us go through them. Happiness is a muscle that, like anything else, needs to be worked and will have nothing but a positive impact on your art. When you find yourself feeling good, good things happen. You'll naturally spend more time playing. You'll have the confidence to take those risks that lead to something special, and overall, you'll just have more fun. Thank you all for watching and I hope you found this video useful. I've mentioned it before, but one of the most important books I've ever read is this one right here, Zen Guitar. 
It has nothing to do with playing guitar, but rather focuses on your relationship with your instrument. There's an Amazon link down in the description, check it out. And a big thank you to everyone who supports my channel through Patreon. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Through that program, I offer a monthly giveaway to everyone involved. This month, I'm giving away a guitar pedal. If that interests you, hit that link over there. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I will see you again soon.